Ooh, Jared Benner here. Oh my God. Hey everyone. So I just got back from Star Wars Celebration and it was amazing. The best weekend I've ever had. We left on Wednesday and got back Sunday night. We spent the night in a line to be able to go to the 40th anniversary panel Thursday morning. And the line started outside before we can get to the lines inside when they opened up the doors for the inside lines at 8 p.m. on Wednesday. We got there at 2.30 in the afternoon on Wednesday, and we were spots 133, 134, and 135 in line. By the time that they were letting everybody inside, there was probably over 3,000 people in line. It was crazy. We waited a total of 22 hours in lines to be able to go to the 40 year anniversary panel at the Star Wars Celebration Orlando in Orlando, Florida on Thursday morning, the very first panel of Star Wars Celebration Orlando. And even though it was a very miserable time waiting the 22 hours, it was so worth it. While we were waiting in line, Ashley Eckstein, who plays Ahsoka in the Star Wars Clone Wars, she came out and passed around cupcakes to everybody. So that was really cool. Then Thursday morning, while we were still in line, uh, Ray Park, who played Darth Maul, rode by in a golf cart before we even got to the 40th panel. And oh my goodness, the 40th panel. It was so amazing. It was totally worth the wait. Anybody that did not do the overnight, spending the night in the line, did not get into the panel. You had to get a wristband to be able to get into that panel. In order to get the wristband, you had to spend the night because they would pass out the wristbands at 5 in the morning. Okay, so Warwick Davis, who played Wicked, the most famous Ewok, he was the host of the 40th panel. And so he was out there the whole time. And the very first guest that he introduced was the creator of Star Wars, George Lucas. And we all freaked out. Like, oh my goodness, George Lucas. And George Lucas was on stage the entire time after he was introduced. And then there were so many guests. And most of the guests, they were on the stage for a little bit. Being interviewed by Warwick Davis and, and George Lucas. And then they would go off the stage and then for, for the next guest, but there were guests such as Hayden Christensen who played Anakin Skywalker, Ian McDermott who played Palpatine. There were pre-recordings that were shown to us by Liam Neeson and Samuel L. Jackson. At one point there was all at the same time on stage Peter Mayhew, Chewbacca, uh, there was Anthony Daniels, C-3PO, there was Billy D. Williams, who was Lando, and uh, and Mark Hamill, Luke Skywalker, all on the same stage with George Lucas and Warwick Davis, like at the same time, and and uh, Warwick Davis was like, you know, how epic is this with all these people on stage? It couldn't get any more epic than that. Oh, or actually, it could, and then all of a sudden. Harrison Ford! Oh my god, I freaked out! Harrison Ford came out on stage, started hugging everybody. Harrison Ford, man, it's such a big deal, because he never goes to celebrations. He's been to one San Diego Comic Con a while back, and that was it. He doesn't do that kind of stuff, and he was there. And then, right after that, they did a Carrie Fisher tribute, so we were all sad and crying, and, and then... After everybody got off the stage, all of a sudden you see the side curtains move away. And it's John Williams, the greatest conductor of all time. John Williams 
performs a live performance with the Orlando uh, Philharmonic, and it was phenomenal. Our seats made it even mo that more amazing. We were the fifth row on the right side, and so we were 50 feet away from Harrison Ford. We were like 10 feet away from John Williams. Just that panel alone was worth the amount of money we paid to go to the four days celebration. We were at Star Wars Celebration for all four days. Just that panel alone was worth the money we paid. And that was the very beginning, the very start of Star Wars Celebration for us. And we were there for three more days. They had another overnight line, but we couldn't do it. Like, there was no way that we could go through all that again waiting. Uh, it's for the last Jedi panel of, about Star Wars Episode Eight, which would have been cool to be in the same room with all those cast members for that, but we couldn't do it again. But it was fine because the whole weekend was such an amazing weekend. I could go on with stories that I had from the weekend, but if I did, this video would be too long. And so that's just to give you a glimpse of how the weekend started. And here are some clips that I got throughout the weekend. I didn't do a whole lot of filming, but we were in the presence of so many celebrities throughout the weekend. I did get both an autograph and a photo op picture with Peter Mayhew, Chewbacca. I had to do it. I met Peter Mayhew once before at a regular Comic-Con, but I only shook his hand for free. I didn't get an autograph or a picture, so this... Celebration, I had to get both of those, and I did. I got an autograph and a picture. It was awesome. Uh, and going to his house was a joy for me, by the way. 